What's up, party people? I'm the Dragon B. We've been talking about the connectivity issues with uh, the XR18, from the iPad to the XR18. And there is some tips that Behringer has shared, and I want to share them with you. It comes down to the internal router of the XR18. It's not as powerful as it could be. Uh, it's a one band. I think it's a single band router. But there are steps to actually getting the best possible connection to it so you're not sitting there delaying or the, seeing the latency issues that some people have been experiencing. And I'm gonna go over these steps right now with you real quick. Install Airport Utility on your iPhone. Open it up, fire it up, hit the Wi-Fi scan. And then you hit the scan button up here. Tap that, and what it does is it scans your entire room or your area of the top Wi-Fi channels. This shows the activity and as you can see it's showing you all the different routers that are in the area or in the room and it shows you if it's channel 1, we got a channel 36 here, channel 4, channel 5. So those are my top three. That's the ones you want to stay away from. So if I'm going to set up my XR18 in this room, I want to stay away from channel 1, channel 36, and channel 5. Keep that in mind. Hit the I button down below there and now it shows you how many devices are actually connected to each channel. What you want to do is choose the channel that has the least amount of devices. Channel 1, 4, 5, and 6 are all busy with these different devices. So if I use channel 2, I'm good to go. Right? So if I can use channel 2, I can use channel 3. You want to choose the one that has the least amount of connections, the least amount of devices connected to it. That will give you the best option of connecting to your XR18. This is how you choose your best Wi-Fi channel. Cool?